Hello friends and welcome. You're watching episode number 12 of our Let's Play Production Line series. My name is Sean and I'm glad you're here watching me play some video games today. Production Line is an early alpha game. Just a reminder, we are at uh, alpha 1.09, I believe. Uh, so there's going to be some minor glitches and stuff, but actually it's running pretty smooth with uh, with the new alpha. The main problems I think I've seen in this alpha is just placeholder graphics. And, you know, I mean, if we're going to have problems, that is, uh, uh, that's something that's very reasonable to deal with. I don't, I don't mind placeholder graphics. What were we doing when we left off? Well, we were making steering wheels. We're already done with that. Oh, that's right. And I rejected the idea of making our own mufflers because they were so ridiculously uh, expensive. Um, but I think that we were going to move, we were going to relocate... Oh, that's the weirdest. That's the weirdest placeholder graphic. It scares me every time I see that. Uh, I think we were going to relocate our um, accessories and electronics, so we could make room for faster. Hmm. I know we wanted to get faster throughput. That's for sure. But where where did we want to try to to get more stuff through? It definitely seems like. Lights and then horns are the area where we're slowing down. Lights are every three seconds, so I think we're pretty good there. Horns are three and a half. Seats are 3.9. Okay, so it was the seats and windscreens that are slowing us down. Um, I guess in theory I could move the make seat production over here, but that still wouldn't allow us to get faster seats through. So... Um, if we if we came out of here and then just worked our way up to here, so yeah, let's do let's do lights. Well, I don't need to look at all that because they're going to be pretty straightforward. I mean, they're always in the same order. So uh, this is all accessories, right? So we're going to do all of our accessories over here. Um, there we go. Now, are we are we making are we making lights? It doesn't look like we are, so we could actually try to sneak in some of that stuff too. What is the make light? Um, takes six seconds, and I bet you it uses two lights per thing, right? Four lights. So we would, uh, yeah. Let's let's not do that. And we have. Um, Oh, we have no import bays over here. So that is kind of a potential potential issue. It's a shame that there's really no import bays over here. I mean, we can use this one, and we can use this one. And a lot of this stuff is already coming through from over here, and we could actually curl this one back around. So maybe it's not the end of the world. Strange that they're getting stuff in from over here too, huh? Why is it sending a steering wheel? Oh, that's got to be a servo that, that uh, is in disguise. All right, well, you know what? We'll worry about that when, we, when, when, uh, when it comes up, right? Okay, so uh, fit lights. Oh, my gosh, it's going to have the horn... So we have our horn production and our seat production all set up over here. All right. So I think we're just going to end up moving moving that. So we have three seats and we have one horn, right? So let's be smart about it. Let's set those up up here, right up like basically right up against the wall. Um, we're going to go to make seats. And uh, let's take a look and see what the setup is for the seat. If we go like this, so import is on this. I can't move my mouse without moving the whole thing. So there's the import. There's the export. Uh, so there we go. We'll do them like that. So we have import, import, import. And then we're going to uh, do our horns as well. And with the horn, the uh, fit horn, make horn, um, 
So the export is in that little di uh, that little uh, uh, one that sticks out, and the import is on the one that doesn't stick out. So we'll do those like that. All right, and that means we're going to do resource conveyor there, 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 and then like that. And then these are the export ones. They can just go like that. And then they'll go out like that. And that's cool. So now we're going to go fit accessories. So we're going to have lights, horns, seat, windscreen, air conditioning, and electronics. Lights, horn, seats, windscreen, electronics. Okay, so they're all only one thing each. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. Oh, air conditioning is weird. Um, but you know what? We could probably do those over here if we need to. All right. So fit lights. Let's put you right there. Oh, but uh, are, are we only going to need two of those or are we going to need three of them? Where are we at? Three seconds for that. Three and a half. Hmm. I don't think I can fit three across. I guess we, well, no, not quite. We got one, two. Oh, yeah, we can fit them three across. So if we line up, I guess down here it doesn't need to necessarily line up like it's going to up at the top. <clears throat> Excuse me, fit lights, fit lights. Nope, try fit lights, fit horn. Now I, I don't want that to connect up to the other one. I think we'll be okay if we do it this way. One, two, three. Fit seats. Good, that'll work. Fit seats. Fit seats. Windscreen. It would really be better to have an extra space in here so the, the cars can, can shift over and stuff, but uh, whatever, it's too late now. Uh, wow, are we already up to the we're already up to the end uh, section of it, huh? All right. AC electronics. And now we need to go through and do all these upgrades, which is going to be pretty exciting. Wow, a lot of upgrades on uh, fit electronics. Makes for some fancy fancy cars, that's for sure. That's number one. And here comes number two. So, um, have I mentioned that I'm not really sure what the future of this series is going to be? Uh, I mean, I'm still having fun. I know I've mentioned it because I think I mentioned it a couple episodes. I'm still having fun making this factory, but as you can see, we are running out of space. And as we run out of space, that means we're going to run out of options for what to do. I don't see that we're going to be able to, like, uh, this. these final setups here are really going to determine determine our ability to uh, have cars, our throughput. And, um, and we're, we're getting very close to having all of the space of this entire factory filled up. Um, although, when we put these in, it is going to clear up some space in the middle there where these... Uh, where these were. Uh, so, I mean, I guess it's always possible that we can continue remodeling. Um, but if you guys have any thoughts, if you want me to start a new factory up, um, you know, let me know. Uh, I'm kind of excited um, maybe playing a, uh, playing a uh, larger um, uh, a larger start and, uh, you know what I mean, like choosing the mega factory or whatever, the one that you start with three million dollars and it looks like it has the largest amount of potential floor space and seeing seeing what we can do with that see if we can beat the uh, throughput that we end up getting with this factory um, or you know keep trying to squeeze more cars out of this one um, uh, or 
you know, just uh, take a break and stop playing this all together. I don't really think that's going to happen necessarily. Uh, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, I think that, I mean, I know that um, Cliff is talking about uh, putting in um, a new, basically a sub factory for making engines, uh, and he's working on that for future alphas. So once that comes out, I mean, we're pretty much for sure going to have to start a new factory uh, because we just don't don't really have any room to stick that into this one. Um, so, you know, is that going to be our deciding factor when we get rid of this one and start a new one? Uh, like I said, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you um, have any opinions on those things, I would definitely appreciate hearing it. I always want to hear from my subscribers. Uh, it's good to hear uh, what you guys think. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to continue trying to vamp and fill the time that it's taking me to do this. Uh, because uh, watching me click all these buttons without having any cars going through is, is really kind of a tedious, um, it doesn't seem like it's going to make for very good entertaining viewing, and I want you guys to be entertained while you're watching. That is kind of an important factor in making these videos, is to keep you guys having fun. Um, but I can only think of so many words to say. I'm not, I'm actually pretty quiet in real life. Uh, I have some social anxiety and I'm not used to having to talk so much about nothing. I'm terrible with small talk, but sometimes you have to just fill these videos up with small talk because it would be the worst quality content in the world if I was just clicking all these buttons and all you could hear were the sound effects that were going back and forth. But it looks like I've done a pretty good job so far of keeping that up because we did all of those. And now all I have to do is lay down some resource conveyors. Um, and uh, those don't need to be too uh, specific because the... Uh, there we go, like that. And we'll run you down there to there. Or we'll just cheat and do that one into that one. And then these guys are going to go across like this. And then you'll go across like this. And then you'll go to that stockpile. And then this stockpile is going to connect up with those things. Sure, that, that doesn't look quite right, but we're going to leave it like it is. Oh, it's frustrating when it does that, to be honest. And then we're going to run these lines down here. And we'll run that line down there. And now look at all that stuff. Like, oh my gosh, look at all those orders that we've got going in there. Um, but, oh my gosh, how are we going to get the cars? It's going to be... It's going to be a little crowded trying to get these cars out of here. <laughs> uh-huh. Go from there to there. There we go. And we're going to come out of here like that. And I hope, uh, I hope that we don't run into a limitation with the belts themselves not being able to handle all the cars going along them. I don't think that's going to be a problem, but in theory it could be. I guess we'll find out, won't we? That's not what I wanted to do, dummy. Alright, let's try that again, conveyor. I like the little symbol, symbol noise. And you go like that. And you go over like that, maybe like that. I don't really know that I have these uh, splits done correctly. Uh, that one definitely didn't work out properly. And then you'll go up. There you go. And you'll go there, there, up. And you go over. And you guys, same thing. Uh, over and up. see how this works. That looks real good. All right, so this is install lights, right? And so that comes from here. So we need to let all this stuff run through. You're cleared out. Now you're cleared out. I don't, well, I guess I need to wait till these get cleared out first before I start deleting the supply. Uh, I hate tearing up that stupid seat thing. But I have to. You're going away. You're going away. 
So long, stations. Goodbye. You are the slowest links. So goodbye. Another timely reference on my part. You're welcome. I know everybody loves those, uh, my fun cultural references. That's what makes my channel so special, right? That I have these timely cultural references. Uh, not gonna do it. Another timely reference. Oh, look at all that belt left over there. All right. Um, and then these are electronics, right? So we're gonna get rid of those. Oh, okay, so I don't quite need to have this weird uh, set up there either. All right, let's get rid of all that. All right, let's, we can worry about finishing that off once we get the conveyor belt going in. Keep going over, and you're gonna go over, and then you're gonna split up, and you're gonna go up, and over, and up, and over, and up. And uh, there you go, it's sending cars through. And we shall see how well this works out. But I feel, I don't feel bad about it, that's for sure. I think that's gonna allow us to increase our throughput. And then of course it cleared up a whole bunch of space in the middle here where we can do all sorts of goodies. And actually, I probably should uh, make this there we go, like the most space, efi space efficient possible. So we'll do that. We'll run this over here like that and down, over, down, and over. There we go, cool. $22 million in the bank. I think we're not going to go bankrupt anytime soon. I think I probably killed a conveyor that I didn't want to kill there. There we go. This can be a right kill, though. All right, and um, yeah, I'd say we're looking good, right? Next slot not found. Um, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because you need to go from there to there. Like so. All right, car's coming out. Let's speed it up and see how it looks. Looks like everything is going through pretty quickly. Making some weird decisions on how to route the cars to the next station, but that's fine. This one's not getting much use. There we go, finally. Finally, a car's coming in to use that. Um, yeah, they're lining up, you know what I mean? Not lining up in a terribly bad way, though. Um, and over here... They definitely seem to be working their way through. Oh my gosh, have we eliminated... No, we still haven't eliminated all of the potential backups. And it looks like this trunk is still... That trunk should not be... Like, we should be getting them in every 2.3. So it's going to be something like fit rear bumper... We're going to start running, like, this fit bottom trim is going to be an issue. Front arch. So right now, I think it's fit rear bumper is our slowest spot. Is there any upgrading to be done there? No, there's not. So that's fit. Is that fit body? No. It's not chassis, is it? No. It's got to be fit body. Fit body frame. There we go. Fit rear bumper. We'll put you right there. We will run a conveyor over. It's fine. Like that. And uh, we'll run this conveyor over like that. And down. And then you can go there. And you know what? We're going to need a fit bottom trim station. So we may as well put it in there. Fit body frame, fit bottom trim, boop, boop. no, boop, boop, like that, there we go, and uh, we need to route you to the stockpile, and then we need to, oh, I'm not going to be able to route you out of there, um, so let's get rid of that, and uh, let's go back to here, and here, and here, and we'll just lock you up directly, and then you'll come out like that, there, down, over, 
All right. Oh, and now I need to redo that conveyor. <laughs> uh, there we go. Um, no route to stockpile again for some reason. There we are. And I need to. Ah, shit. I hope there's no upgrades that I'm missing on these. I don't think. I don't think so with the bumper and, and bottom, bottom trim. I don't think there's any upgrades to those things. So. Okay. Good. I'm not making a new car model here. All right. Now, that front bumper is going to be our slowdown, but I can add another one of those in real easy. Look at all those cars we've got stockpiled. Body frame, fit bumper, fit front bumper, right there, there, there. Get all the upgrades in there. Hook you up to a resource conveyor, and then hook you up to a car conveyor. All right. Now, now we're going to have cars just flying through so fast. The arches are not going to be able to keep up with them, but that's okay because we've got enough room over here to where we can duplicate the uh, the arch stuff as well. So why not? No time like the present, right? Fits. Good arches. Front arch. Boom, boom. Fit rear arch. Right there. Get those upgraded. I don't think there's any accessory upgrades. There we go. And then we're going to upgrade you as well. All these extra robots. Very cool. And then we're going to throw. Oh my gosh, we sold so many cars. We were at like 120 cars, and then all of a sudden we were at uh, at 15 cars. Um, all right, so you're going to come out there, you're going to go up there, then you're going to go up there, and then you'll come over here, and we're probably going to need to duplicate the fit vent as well, so why, why not just take care of that now? Um, is that part of the body frame? Wow, crazy. Fit vent, yeah, right there is just the perfect spot for you. Um, you do not need any upgrades other than the robots, which is easy enough. There we go. And a conveyor to take you out and over. And then I need to get resource conveyors set up for these guys and that guy and that one right there. All right, now let's see what happens. Why are they not sending any cars there? I guess I need to redo that T intersection there. Uh, so you're going to go like that, and you'll go up like that. There we go. Now we're good. So now we're going to end up running into... Oh my gosh, yeah, for sure. Fit Roof is not going to be able to keep up with the uh, cars trying to flow through here. And Fit Door Panels should be able to. So I guess all we really need to do here is put on another fit roof. And fit roof has only got one thing. Can we squeeze it in there? It looks like we definitely can. Get a conveyor to go like that. Let's make sure that we have all of the... Uh, now this one definitely would have caused some problems if we didn't have all that stuff set up. Bye. Bye. And bye. Bye, bye, bye. Conveyor. Uh, Christopher Walken, uh, I'm a big fan of Christopher Walken. That Christopher Walken commercial with Justin Timberlake was hilarious. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know it. It was, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know it was coming or anything. So when I saw it, I was really surprised and uh, very happy to see that. I like Christopher Walken. He's really old, um, but uh, you know, I'm gonna enjoy enjoy what he's got left in him. The old guy still making hilarious hilarious stuff. Uh, Seven Psychopaths um, was a really good movie overall, and uh, Christopher Walken is probably my favorite character in it. He was hilarious. All right, look at this. We've got so many cars going through. We don't even need all that nonsense up there now. We, our efficiency is so high. It's strange that they pile up here and, and then leave these other identical stations empty, though. Um, but that still... Yeah, it sure would be nice if they did. I mean, I know why. I guess I know why they're doing it because there's no, there's no, uh, 
there's no gap here so what I would need to do is to push this one forward one and they would start lining up to get in there uh, but that's for another episode we always want to leave more stuff for next time right let's take a look at our uh, throughput volume production per hour 49 80 are you gonna there you go 105 116 Oh, 127. Uh, keep going. I like it. I like it. 140. Wow, 146. They bypassed that 140. Just jumped straight to 146. Huh? So 150 vehicles per minute, basically. Oh, even more than that, huh? Wow. Good stuff. All right, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. I want to thank you for subscribing. And, and uh, if you've had fun, leave me a like down below at the like area. That's, that's how you do that. And uh, come back and watch the next one, which will... Oh, there's that weird glitch that is not supposed to be happening anymore. Uh, come back and like the next one. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you then. Bye.